Hi, welcome back to The Maker Show. My name is Jeff Krepke, and today we're going to be doing a video uh, concerning uh, installing the Rip Wrap Discount um, full graphic uh, user interface. I will go ahead and uh, list the uh, item number down in the uh, comments. Um, so the, I'm just going to walk through real quick uh, the firmware changes I did and go over the um, go over the changes in the firmware uh, that need to be made to uh, make that screen work and I'll uh, give you a little story about what ended up happening to mine I was uh, doing these videos and uh, ended up changing a firmware setting that's stored on the EEPROM of the uh, of the uh, Atmel Mega and boy that thing wouldn't communicate with anything the IDE the printer uh, seemed like a program was working it was flashing doing what it should but uh, having that uh, baud value in the EEP ROM boy that really brought it down good so I ended up ordering a programmer and I'm uh, experimenting a little bit with uh, using a uh, uh, a uh, Arduino Uno to uh, act as an ISP and in system programmer and uh, we'll see how that works out I'll probably do a video on that as well but uh, this is just going to be real quick uh, stepping through the uh, firmware changes to make that screen work so I'm on Repetier here uh, this is uh, Repetier.com this is the firmware uh, they're at uh, 0.92 right now which does support the screen I've uh, read some po blog posts that set the configuration wrong the first time I went through and it didn't work had to do some research uh, went in and found uh, I just uh, messed up the configuration so I'm gonna go over that with you real quick uh, now when it says upload the old configuration and because uh, I uh, messed up my first board with that EEPROM uh, mistake. Um, I went to uh, um, Bob uh, CNC dot uh, com and he has the configuration H file, and that's what this is. That's uh, downloaded from Bob CNC, and that made it a lot easier. So we're gonna go to the next step. And I'm going to use the EEPROM set one. Um, that is uh, nothing on this board because it's a brand new uh, Mega I just picked up. Uh, default port, and I'm keeping it right at 15200, uh, 115200, because that's what my uh, fast is my. Uh, uh, port goes that I can select on my computer so um, I've had real issues with this so I'm going to try to stick with that number and hopefully I won't have those problems again uh, printer 000 and then max length is 200, 200 and 210 um, the, uh, the H code set to 220 when I went through the first time and this is just for a Delta printer once again uh, and these are a lot of the numbers that um, uh, get uploaded by that configuration H file that we loaded in like this resolution this resolution this one um, it's really important you have those so now on the homing order this this ends up being kind of important because I when you clip on your piece of plexiglass or something and it's trying to uh, do the uh, X first a lot of times it's in the middle and it's going to hit that clip so I'm going to have it go to the Y and then the X and then the Z um, Actually, if there was just X and Z, that would be even better, but it doesn't look like there is. So, uh, and then the Z minimum, this is where you put your uh, your uh, switches again. So it's switched to ground, normally closed, normally closed, normally closed. Uh, and the max, the Z is a max, not a minimum. So that's good, that's set right. 
and this is the pins you put it on on the uh, ramps 1.4 board and those are all good um, jam so I'm um, um, go uh, so this is the support the lasers and stuff there's no lasers on it maximum temperature and this is the extruder this is another thing that's set by the uh, configuration H file we loaded at the beginning this is all good um, hopefully I'll add uh, Z probing at some point I'm not there yet um, bed coating I'm leaving that alone I can just set it it's not a big deal uh, extra motor zero okay and this is where I got it wrong so this is the displays that are supported and the display I picked the first time was the uh, smart controller from Rip Rap Discount on the ramps or rumba board. That wasn't correct. It's this one right here. Rip Rap Discount full graphics smart controller. That's the one. And uh, it came right up with it. So, and obviously pick your in, uh, display language. I just chose English, unchecked everything else. Um, everything else is fine. Uh, manual additions, none. And then I hit the download to complete firmware with these settings. And then I go ahead and open my Arduino uh, IDE. Uh, or uh, no, I just went into the file. Sorry, I uh, moved the folder over and um, unzipped it and just clicked on the uh, executable in that folder that loads up the Arduino client I uh, hit the upload button and it uploads right to the Arduino uh, programming that firmware for you so um, so currently this is the printer I have the uh, the ramp board it's all hanging Try, I uh, don't have any of the stepper motors connected at this point so uh, uh, this is how it stands. I'm going to go ahead and get a shot of the screen working. These are the screens that you'll uh, run into. First is going to be your splash screen, uh, followed by the other screens that give the printer data. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but uh, it's uh, really nice that it's started to work. So I'm excited to get this thing buttoned up and back on the road. So there we have it. Uh, that was a great video on uh, how to install uh, the uh, firmware to uh, get that uh, uh, new display screen up and running. And a quick uh, display of the couple screens to prove it's working, which is working good. So I'm really excited to button it up. Uh, in future episodes, I'm going to do probably printing a 3D printed uh, case for that. Uh, and hunting around for the best one uh, off the media. I might also do some uh, 3D modeling. Uh, I want to do that in the future, uh, do some uh, Blender videos, but uh, for now we will go ahead and stick with what's on Thingiverse and those kind of uh, sites and get some printing projects done. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, once again, rate, comment, subscribe. It really helps us a lot. Thanks a lot, guys.